Alrighty, we got a cycle. Very smooth cycle. It's very cool. I like it. Yeah, it's neat. Hold on. There is this. Turn off the sound here. Well, they love about these. These are always crazy. Look at how much that paw goes in. Nice little angle there. That's the biggest thing about the cats. How far in they go. I always feel like lions go even more than, let's say, tigers. That's cool, though. That's a good front view. The big thing, I mean, the head is a bit different there, but there's a, a really big from, from, from on the head. That's my head impact sound. Which is definitely cool to see, and I think that's one thing we could push in yours. You get to see the, the big shoulder stuff. And usually tails are a bit more erratic in references compared to animation. I think that's fine. It has like a slight soft feel to it. But again, it's it's a cycle. I think it's fine. There might be maybe a little like a bit of a stronger up and down just here. Keep this stiffer like a little bit here. But I think we have this here, which is great. The biggest thing to me when I was watching is, is how we could push the impact. There's just a moment through there. You can see this here where the head and the rest of the body feel like they are a little bit disconnected. If you look at this, see that little doom, doom, that downwards move? That's cool. I like that. I would make that like take two frames out of that and make that a smidgen sharper. And then in the front view, same thing on that rotation. Just a bit of a a stronger, a stronger impact. To me, it's like when you have this here and then going back and then with this move here. What is that? That's across the loop. But you can see this here. So when you have that much going on right through there, right? When you see how this part goes over. And then it goes over there with the shoulder up. I wish there was a bit more in Y. Like how that, this section here through that influences this a bit more. It's a danger in CG to make this a bit too isolated. I like it in the front, uh, the, the side view. Side view is great. Good stuff in the shoulders. Yeah, it's cool. So a silent critique as I'm looking at things. I wonder if this is a bit too overpronounced. Then again, I'm not. I rarely see top view reference. Now there is more. Take the sound out of this guy. And you can see this here that usually with with walks like that on big cats, like there's a bit of a harshness in here and in here. And it's usually more like in muscles here. Like the hip is to me always a bit softer than this area. But you can see, well, I know tails are erratic in real life. But if you look at that, to me, it feels like we want to push the moment of this boom through there. Because you don't want to raise the clavicle here right when this touches. I think you're just okay because you have contact, contact, and now it starts to go up. You could potentially delay this up here by one frame, but then, or technically like take one frame out so that that, that impact is a bit sharper. To me, it would be making that, that impact sharper. And in turn, because this is, there's so much strength and like stopping of the chest going down on that side here. That's when this will shoot down a bit faster. And again, I talk, I'm talking like one, two frames, literally. It's just, it's just a little bit of a stronger accent. Here's another one. You can see that little wobble in here. It's literally just a frame or two. You want this to be a massive impact, but just a bit sharper. And you can, you can sense it here too. See that right there, that little, it's like a one frame pop 
in real life. <laughs> Just to give this a bit of a stronger edge. Again, in here and in here. Maybe a little bit in here and a little bit in here. So that there's a bit of a accent here and there to make this less of a soft, spliny walk. Cool stuff though, I like all that here. Happy picky here when you look at that coming up here. Kind of hits a wall. Goes up and up and bam. Right? And then down. Right on that frame. To, I don't feel like the strongest it's in this view. Just a bit softening of that. Just a bit. But you got stuff in the toes. It's really cool. It's not like this is a rough first pass. <laughs> I think the ears are a bit soft. You can see that here. I think they're a bit spliny. I would stiffen them up a little bit. Again, I rarely see top view, so this is not really a, a definite. I'm an expert in this, but this just feels too bendy and soft. I could be totally wrong. But that, that feels like something I would tone down. And then just because of an organic asymmetrical nature, I wouldn't go the same amount in and out. It feels like it's lower there than the other one, no? Which is good. It's not a it's not a problem. Ish, huh? So I would do one that's a bit lower and less out. Which then in turn, for like final pass. Like if that's where this paw is, that height and stuff, right? And when the other one comes in, different height, different angle. So you make that really like a big pushing the asymmetrical nature. And then you can take that overall head and tilt it over by a couple of degrees. So there's a slight overall tilt. You know, like one of the paws doesn't go as high. The other one doesn't go as high. The tail left and right is not the same mirrored. Just to give it that extra little organic offsetness and imperfection. But yeah. Upon first viewing, my, my biggest thought was this feels soft in the front view and it feels dislocated from the rest. Or every now and then, I don't know if it's like a, you know, a world space thing, head align type of thing. I don't know how you animate the creature. But other than that, it's cool. It's definitely cool. It's all I have, right? This is all, yeah, that's all the reference footage there that you sent as well. Really cool though, nice presentation, I love this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm totally gonna save this and use that as a reference um, for my students uh, as a great example of, of what to do. Uh, Raddy, thanks. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.